Welcome to Sports Extra and uh, welcome to baseball season. I know, sounds strange, but the Rockies pitchers and catchers report to Arizona on Tuesday and start practice on Valentine's Day. Are you ready for some baseball and some champagne celebrations? Hey, Rockies looking for more of this. Last year's wild card appearance was sweet but short. <laughs> Rockies lost in the wild card game to the D backs. So, what will it take to get back to this in 2018? Here's Denver 7 Broncos inside of Troy Rank with a look ahead, starring the Rockies' young pitching staff. Since their inception in 1993, the Rockies have delivered more bad pitches than the contestants on Shark Tank. Then came last season. Colorado's youthful rotation and a gasping for air bullpen shoved the Rockies into the playoffs. Now comes the hard part, doing it all over again. The Rockies have never reached the playoffs in back-to-back -back years. Pitchers and catchers report on Tuesday to spring training. The onus falls on this staff to repeat last year's performance to continue to show the mental attitude to succeed at altitude. Oh, confidence is through the roof. These guys, I mean, for one, none of them are scared. They want to take the ball against the best team at Coors Field. So, uh, you know, what more can you ask for from that? But uh, uh, just, the, just the steps they took throughout the year, I can't wait to see it, you know, after a full offseason and some rest and, you know, see what they can accomplish. I know they're going to grow mentally and, and, and learn more about the game and pitching. Uh, you know, we all are, and that's what that's what we do together. We're all young. Uh, we hold each other accountable and, and compete with each other. It makes us better. The younger guys specifically, you know, it, it comes down to consistency, um, and there's some action on their pitches that we have to make sure that, you know, we make, uh, you know, the right adjustments for them. The Rockies showed a willingness to fix a weakness this offseason, spending a whopping $106 million on setup men Brian Sean, Jake McGee, and closer Wade Davis. It reflects ownership's confidence in this team and a proper two, sense two. of urgency, giving the pending free agency of all-stars Charlie Blackman and DJ LeMayu after this season and Nolan Arenado after 2019. Nolan told me he believes in this team and this pitching staff. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like I said, I think our window's right now, and then uh, however long, you know, hopefully our starting pitchers stay healthy, you know, and, uh, you know, Charlie and DJ have one more year left, but uh, knowing them, they're probably not too worried about that. They're going to be ready to go, and there's, there's, no, there's no time to rest. You know, it's time to continue to get better and better, and I think they do, and uh, I hope they understand just because we got, you know, Wade Davis and Brian Shaw, it doesn't mean you just go five innings. It means you go seven or nine, you know, and, uh, you know, that's the goal is to go seven or nine, and don't, you know, don't let up. Don't give the ball to Wade Davis every day because we need him healthy. We did well on the starting pitching side last year. And we, we did well in the bullpen, but for us to come back and, and pay some of those players and, and pay some of those players because they're really, really good is, is exciting to me to know that if we have a lead late, we have a really good chance of winning that game. It can be fairly argued that no Rockies team is headed to Arizona with higher expectations. They're talking World Series. The Rockies, of course, could use another bat and they need improvement offensively from Ian Desmond and Trevor Story to win their first ever NL West title. Colorado's ability to win hinges largely on the mound. And a pleasant surprise, they believe in their pitch. Reporting for Denver 7, Troy Rank.